If Gates of the Arctic National Park and Preserve were to have a founding father, it would be Bob Marshall. During the 1930s, um, Bob Marshall traveled to Alaska looking for what he called blank spaces on maps. And he found that blank space in the Koyukuk region uh, of the Central Brooks Range. Along the way, he, he named a number of uh, physical features within what is today the park, uh, namely uh, Boreal Mountain and Frigid Crags. And he called these twin peaks on either side of the North Fork of the Koyukuk River uh, the Gates of the Arctic. That name and his descriptions of his exploration in the, in the area uh, became the inspiration for park planners. Uh, after spending over a year living in the community of Wiseman, Bob Marshall wrote uh, his most famous book, Arctic Village. And Arctic Village was a very detailed, very intimate portrait of a community. And it became a bestseller in the United States. Uh, it was enormously popular and, and, and hailed for its, its honesty and, and its um, perhaps not a scientific approach, but a, a loosely anthropological approach to studying people in such a remote corner of the continent. People thought that writing this book about the lives and sometimes the romantic lives of the people of Wiseman would uh, make Bob Marshall some enemies in Wiseman. But um, five years later, he returned to Wiseman uh, for the last time and he uh, shared half of the royalties he earned from his book with all of the residents of Wiseman and, um, and they welcomed him back as a, a friend. In 1938, Bob Marshall was asked to contribute to a government report on Alaska called Alaska Resources um, and Development. And in this report, uh, Bob Marshall said essentially that uh, all of Alaska north of the Yukon River should be a vast preserve with the exception of Nome where there were, were a number of people living and mining that the, the mining district of Nome should be the exception but that, that everything else should be a park in essence and many Alaskans development minded Alaskans thought this was a horrible idea. He was not only accused of, of being uh, anti-Alaskan while being here, but he was also charged with being a socialist uh, in the New York Times and, and other national newspapers. These parts of the Bob Marshall legacy have been uh, overlooked or, or ignored in many cases, uh, often by the Wilderness Society itself. Um, but they were essential to Bob Marshall's understanding of wilderness, and that included people. His belief was that um, that even the poorest citizens in a democracy should have access to wild places, should have the opportunity to find themselves renewed, rejuvenated by experiencing wilderness. And um, to my mind, that's his true uh, legacy.